All right, we are starting off talking about interest rates this morning. Let's bring in Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver. We are awaiting another decision from the Bank of Canada. Uh, what are you hearing? Yeah, from economists and experts as well, they are not expecting a rate hike coming up from the Bank of Canada this morning. This is based on the latest data that we're getting from the economy, from Stats Canada. That said, Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Polas, he always likes to have some surprises up his sleeve. So what I would do is actually keep a very close eye on the language he uses during the announcement to gauge where the bank thinks the economy is going to be moving over the next few months and maybe the next year or so. Right now, the country is dealing with declining oil prices as well as soft wage numbers. Inflation isn't quite where the bank wants it either. So even though we've seen about five hikes over the last 18 months, we may see the bank hit the pause button at least for a year on any further rate hikes. For the Metro Vancouver real estate market, that could actually help us in this soft landing that we're experiencing right now. It means that there'd be less pressure on new buyers getting into the market if there's no further rate hikes, at least for the next little bit. Yeah, it gives people a little bit of certainty, at least for the next year. Um, for sure. Another story you're following today, one of BC's few uh, oil refineries is up for sale, and this is all linked to a sell-off uh, connected to Husky. Yeah, Husky, they have announced a strategic review of its assets. The company wants to focus more on uh, its upstream assets. Those are those that are closer to the raw materials. So that also means that Husky could be looking to leave behind 500 retail outlets across the country. And for British Columbia, that refinery actually produces 12,000 barrels a day. So it's still unclear who might take it over if the strategic uh, review moves forward into a sale. So it's a question mark that's hanging over the province right now. And I think a lot of people would want answers as soon as possible. Definitely. Tyler Orden with Business in Vancouver on this Wednesday. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you, Sonia.